Afternoon Rebels, how we doing? It's been a little while since I've been live in the VIP group, so I thought I would jump in and say hey. Gonna do my makeup and chat with you guys about some new stuff that's on the horizon. You will notice in the description of this video, I have a message link. So what that means is that link, so I'm popping on um, some tinted moisturizer right now, just light tinted moisturizer. Uh, that messenger link is a new way for me to send out deals to y'all. So you click that link and it will open the Rouge Rebels messenger page. And you're going to want to type the word deal. And that will take you through a little like setup process and then you'll be added to my exclusive deals list and i will message you whenever there's deals and exciting things happening it means that you won't miss notifications you know how facebook likes to kind of hide the information that we're interested in and whatnot um so this is the easiest and fastest way for me to get the information to you. So if you're keen to know when there's deals happening, then message deal to that link. Or essentially you can head over to the Rouge Rebels Facebook page and message the same thing because it takes you to the same place. But that little link makes it super easy. Hope that helps. And I just wanted to make sure because I had a couple of girls say that they missed out on some deals. So I've been researching some different ways to communicate and um, I got all like deep into the tech and had some had some fun kind of nerdy computer fun and set up this deals list. I'll also be playing around with it and a few other um, methods to communicate and play and and um, showcase things because Facebook's been rolling out some weird changes which I mean it's their prerogative it's their platform but I wanted to try a few new things like I've been playing around with having a Facebook party that's not on Facebook so watch this space I think um, I'll be announcing that one shortly in the next few days once I've got it down pat. Now I'm just using one of my testers of ivory um, which is a lighter foundation color. I've been using that lately. Underneath my eyes as a lightener and brightener I've been using the anti-aging formula because the anti-aging foundation um, has more hydration in it so I figure if I pop that underneath my eyes it's hydrating under my eyes whilst also lightening and brightening. See how that just instantly makes me look like I've had maybe a little bit more sleep. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I washed my hair this morning and it is fluffy, let me say. <laughs> How's everyone doing though? Hi, 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 as you're tuning in. I am um, trying to find my eyebrow colour. Any of them. I use multiple colours. There we go. We'll just use uh, Smoke Topaz today because that was the first one I found got an eyebrow brush now so eyebrow brushes I always use a flat angled brush because I find they're the easiest to get the shape that I want pick the color up off the wand and I forgot to grab a mirror out so we are going to use the camera which I always regret but we're just filling in the brow Maybe I will hunt out a, cam uh, a mirror. I think there's one down here. Let's have a look and see if there's a mirror down here. Yes, there is. Thank goodness. <laughs> Let's use a mirror to do our eyebrows instead of just kind of guesstimating where they should go. I think that's the smarter plan long term. <laughs> How's everyone's week going? Is everyone surviving this cold snap? Apparently these winds are coming straight off. Um, from underneath Tasmania so that's why they're so icy that's some cold weather that being said I do have a friend who's traveling Australia in um, a van with her little one and uh, she was saying uh, that they went from this you know snowy really cold um, weather they just jumped in the van and headed up and they're now super warm and wearing um, swimmers and playing at the beach. So, you know, good life if, you, if you've got it. <laughs> Just jump in the car and chase the sun. Why not? I need to go and book to get my eyebrows done again. Feels like a constant battle. 
only my hair on my head would grow as fast as my hair on my eyebrows. Anyone else? Anyone else have that problem? I know I certainly could use some speeding up of the hair growth on my head, but slowing down everywhere else would be awesome. Always grows where you don't want it to, right? It's pretty standard. So remember, um, in the description of this video, you will see a link and that will take you to Messenger and allow you to message the Rouge Rebels Facebook page. And I want you to message the word deal to the Rouge Rebels Facebook page because that will sign you up to the deals exclusive kind of blast. So that will be messaging you all directly from there so that you never miss out on any of the deals that come up and are available because some of them have been incredible lately and some of them might be like personal deals that I do. I'm taking some candlelight shadow sets to um, prime my lids. Deals is going to be where it's at. That's going to keep it all in one spot so that I make sure everyone who wants the information has the information. Because it is easy to lose, um, what am I trying to say? It, it is easy to miss things on Facebook because um, not everyone sees everything. That's the way that Facebook works. I'm super excited for these new non-Facebook Facebook parties though. I cannot wait. I've been really fiddling around with them and I'm really excited to show you guys them. So when you see um, those announced, make sure you come along because it will be super adventure, like a big adventure. You can kind of be my beta testers. I'm just buffing that in, the candlelight. Now, what lip color should I wear today? Does anyone have any... I'm not throwing things. Sorry, that would have been loud. Does anyone have any opinions on lip color? I'm kind of feeling like I should wear something in the brown tones mm -hmm. or the burgundy tones to um, match in with the Cardi. That being said, though, I am wearing glittery shoes. Do you want to see my cute new shoes? They're glittery. I love them. So, really, I could wear anything. <laughs> but let's do some eyes now first. Maybe we'll play with some... Okay, we are going with the browns, I've decided, because we're going to use some Copper Rose Shimmer. Let me show you this one. It's a beautiful, coppery, rosy shimmer. Oh, and Nutmeg on the lips. That would totally go. Yes. Oh, and I could use the Ultra Gold. Oh, um, Sarah, I am loving this idea. Isn't the Cardi fun? I feel like I grabbed it at an oppy. I'm not going to lie. I am. I always go to the cardigan section of op shops because people get rid of their like cardigans once they're bored with them, and I like collect cardigans, so I've got one in like every color. My new favorite thing is also I'm now collecting blazers so that I can have blazers in every color. You know, because I'm a professional lady boss lady, I definitely need blazers in every single color. <laughs> So I'm just taking that Copper Rose Shimmer and doing um, a light sweep of it into the, um, the crease area and then taking the excess underneath my eye just in the outer corner. That always just kind of ties everything together and makes it cohesive. I forget how much I love this Copper Rose Shimmer. It is a really, really pretty colour. Super wearable. And can be as intense or as soft as you like. So you can kind of see that I'm do it using it quite softly right now. But we might use it directly from the wand for a little bit more colour impact on, um, on the lid area shortly. Just kind of building up those outer corners so that they're even. Definitely Cardi Heaven. And like... Cardi's, you know, if you get a good quality one from the op shop, they are in such good condition that there's no point sort of buying them brand new. So I'm literally using it straight from the wand now to amp up that colour coverage. Can you? I'm hoping that you can see 
that and then I'm going to take it under the eye as my liner as well grab that same brush I was using to kind of soften the edge of it and then we'll tone it down a little bit more with um, sort of a more light peachy color See how I've just used that one colour to create some really different tones? Oh, thank you, my dear. How's your week going? Are you surviving the chill? Now, all I am going to add to this one is I'm going to use some of my Sandstone Pearl Shimmer, which is this one here. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> I'm going to add that to the inner corners to lighten and brighten. Like so. And then we're just going to buff that in with the fingers to lighten and brighten that area. And then I do think I want to add a little bit more depth of colour. So I'm going to actually use, going to actually use. I've noticed I run together my word going to. So that sounds like I'm saying gonna. I'm trying to stop doing that. So if you catch me doing it, call me out. <laughs> yeah, I don't do the heat either. I must admit this cold has been quite the shock. But um, this pale skin girl here is much more of a winter fan. I just need to... Um, remember what I wore last season to stay warm enough so we're going to use the black brown pencil let me show you that one I'm gonna use going to use the brush that I just dropped on the floor which is the brush that I had the copper rose on and that I'm just going to literally scribble a little dot in the outer corner like so. And then buff it in. And that's just adding a little bit more depth into the outer corner. I absolutely adore our pencils for this. Same, same on the other side. See how that just instantly deepened it up? And then I'm just going to tilt my water line out slightly, not dragging on the, on the um, skin because you don't want to create creases there. And again, buffing that in with my brush because I don't want it to be a sharp line. I just want to create a little bit of depth underneath the eye. So tilting out, tilting out, running a little bit on that inner corner there, or outer corner, sorry, words. And then buffing it in. Like so. Now we definitely need some mascara to go with this. Might add some primer. I feel like you all have uh, heard me rave about how amazing our mascara and primers are, but I cannot stop talking about them because they've completely changed my eyelashes. They are super hydrating and nourishing, and they both contain an ingredient called Capixel that's going to help grow your lashes up to 46% over the course of four weeks. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. So the primer is great for those who um, maybe you already have a mascara that you love or you just want to finish using up the mascara that you have. Hey, Michelle, thanks for tuning in. So the primer is great because it works underneath any mascara. And then I do double duty by adding our mascara over the top. So I'm layering those nourishing ingredients. And um, hey, Barbie, layering those nourishing ingredients and that Capixel, so that lash growth serum. Uh, so I, I, like, can you see how long my lashes are? That is one coat of mascara over the top of this, um, primer. It's amazing. 
my lashes were impossible to see a couple of months ago. They were, you know, if I wanted lashes, I really needed to um, add falsies to really be able to see them when I did a smoky eye look. So this is absolutely phenomenal. It's blowing my mind. Now, you may have seen in the description of this video, if you tap my nose, you can see the full description of this video, that I am playing around with a couple of new tech fun things and I've got some cool stuff in the pipeline. So what I've said in the description of this video is that you can shoot me a message, click that link and it'll take you straight to my Rouge Rebels page and you can send me a message that says the word deal. Just one word, deal. Um, if you want to, you can navigate to my Rouge Rebels page and just message me manually as well. And you message the word deal and that will get you onto my exclusive deals list. So that will be the first place that I let people know all about um, exclusive deals, offers, all sorts of fun stuff. And it will walk you through a fun, fun little process that I've set up with um, some fancy bots that will take all your details so that you've got them all in there. It's all sorted. I just love it. I love, I love that I can play around with this sort of stuff. Kind of gives me some great joy. Now I'm going to use that copper rose shimmer that we just used earlier, this one here, as my blush today. So it's kind of like a blush slash bronzer. Because we're going with that gold tone and slash highlight because it's got that shimmer in it so it's going to have a beautiful highlight to it as well isn't it pretty can you see the shimmer look at that ka ching ka ching for a shimmer so pretty So you don't always have to use pink based blushes. This and I always forget about copper. Oh, I know, right? Oh, how did I forget that this exists? Look at that. Okay, this is going to be like my new winter favorite. Probably because we're getting into winter, so I'm like trying to warm up. <laughs> oh, I have a hair in my mouth. Now I'm just taking the same brush I had my foundation on to. Well, actually, I didn't have to foundation. It's tinted moisturizer. But just, just soften the edges of that. Oh, I am feeling this. This adds so much more warmth to my face instantly. And then if I wanted to pink it up slightly, I can use our Silver Rose Blush. So that's going to add a little bit of a... Our, our powders come in three different types. There's the natural one that's going to set your... Um, set your makeup and help if you um, tend towards oiliness and things like that. Then there's the silver rose, which is a beautiful pinky color with um, some silver dust through it. And then there's the bronze dust as well, which has a beautiful gold tone to it. But I want this one to just add a slight hint of pink to my blush. Not much at all, but you guys know I'm a fan of like some hectic blush. So we decided, what colour did we decide on? We decided to use nutmeg. Let's try and find nutmeg. This will be the fun part. I've got all of the colours sitting here next to me. So I need to hunt for my nutmeg. Found it. Found, found, found. My brushes, darling. So I am, I'm a subscriber to a Morphe brush subscription service. I think it costs me between maybe $30 a month and you get sent four or five um, amazing, between three and five actually, depending on the size of the brushes, brushes every month and it is 100% worth it. If that's something you want to know more about, shoot me a message because I do have an affiliate link and that will give you a free brush. If you decide you want to sign up and try it out, you can try it for just a month. But um, I love it because I love, love, love playing with brushes. And I also love, love, love not having to um, wash my brushes super regularly. So that's really important to me that I <laughs> can um, get away with using the same new brushes every day because I have got a lot of them. Okay, we need a cloth to wipe my lips down. We've got our Nutmeg Lip Scents here. We wanted to put Ultra Gold Glitter over the top. So I've got that out and I want to seal it. I would normally seal my colour with 
glossy gloss first but I cannot I must have left my personal glossy gloss in the other room so I'm going to seal it with orchid gloss and then we will put the ultra gold glitter gloss over the top so as always when you're applying lip scents clean those lips down put the cloth back up there so that I remember where it is give it a really good shake and we are going to wear nutmeg today so we are got, definitely going for like brown tones today let me do a swatch for you well, this doesn't even do it justice this swatch does not do it justice but nutmeg is a beautiful sort of mid-tone brown oh thank you sweetheart I love my hair and I change it super regularly too so keep an eye out for um whatever I do next mind you I do love the blue I really love this like tealy blue. How does everyone else feel about it? First layer of the nutmeg. second layer of the nutmeg let that dry and it's funny because you would think that um the blue wouldn't really go with brown tones so much you would think that it kind of lends itself more towards um cooler tones rather than these warm colors but I think it just works so well with the golds and the browns final layer Aren't nutmeg and copperose shimmer a match made in heaven and perfect for when you're wearing a little bit of lacquer thread? <laughs> Let that dry. Little bit tacky still, so I'm just going to leave it for a second. Now, the reason I am setting with orchid gloss rather than just setting it straight with the ultra gold glitter gloss and I feel like I've explained this to you all before but I'm going to explain it again any gloss that has glitter in it will by its nature even though our glitter is a beautiful fine glitter will by its nature let's seal our gloss actually so that I can actually talk properly so the glitter particles just in their nature Hello darling, how are you? Haven't seen you in so long. The glitter particles by their nature will, when you rub your lips together, create a small amount of friction. They are tiny particles of, um, and they are fine, so you don't feel them on your lips so much, but they are going to create a small amount of friction which will start to lift your lip sense if you rub your lips together a lot. I am 100% a lip rubber. I love rubbing my lips together when I've glossed. It just feels so divine. So I always make sure that I seal with a non-glitter gloss first before I use glitter gloss. That just gives me a um, like a base layer of non-glitter particles to ensure that I'm not like rubbing my lip sense off um, prematurely. This, um, so this is with orchid gloss. So orchid gloss has a beautiful sort of opalescent pinkiness. I think I'm hoping that shows up that it's changed the color slightly. It's a very um, subtle change with the orchid gloss but let's put the ultra gold glitter gloss on top now because this so ultra gold glitter gloss is the new limited edition one and as you can see it's got the new logo on there as well as opposed to the older logo which is I just I, I adore the change it's so much classier um and the ultra gold glitter gloss is available while stocks last and it is the most glittery thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's have a look. Look at that. Can you see the difference between the bottom lip and the top? Amazing. I love, love, love it. 
And even though it packs a huge amount of glittery punch, let me do a swatch of it on my hand so you can see it by itself. See that? Oh my God, so pretty. Uh, so even though it packs a heavy duty glittery punch, it doesn't feel super grainy or anything like that. It's still really smooth, um, but it's super, super pretty. Isn't it fun? And I've kind of been playing around with adding a little bit of it because my name is Jess and I love glitter to the edges of my eyes. I don't want to add it to um, my lids because it's a gloss so it doesn't seal as such, um, which would mean that if I added it onto the lid area, it would just always feel a little bit, I don't know, tacky or something. But on um, the outer corners, perfect for a tiny amount of glitter. What do we think? I didn't think I was going as, as gold today as I ended up by the end of this video, but I am loving it. I'm not going to lie. I do feel like um, when I look in the camera, I need to touch up my eyebrows slightly. So bear with me whilst I grab my smoked topaz. And remember, if you want to be on my deals hot list, then you click the link that's in the description of this video, message the word deals deal to the Rouge Rebels Facebook page and you are going to be first in the know when um, we have deals and things. There we go. Fix that small patch. I don't know what happened there. I must have oh, come down too far. I do love that you've got a little bit of working time with the shadow sense before it sets. But I must have missed a patch whilst I was chatting. Oh, when you start fiddling, you could just redo the whole thing, right? But let's not, because I have better things to do with my time. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, my friends. If there is anything you've seen that you need, then um, let me know and we can look after you. Otherwise, have a most excellent rest of the day and make sure to text the word DEAL to the Rouge Rebels Facebook page so that you can be first in the know with all of my exclusive content. All right, have a good one. Bye.